Oh hi there, welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In this week's tutorial, you will create new Revit model file. And then I will show you what to do immediately after that to ensure you start off your project the right way so that you can start creating amazing design works in Revit. Okay, to create a new Revit file, click on the new. Under the template file, this is where you select your project template file. So click on the drop down so you can select the template file you want to use. I'll go ahead and choose the metric architectural template or you can click on the browse, you know, to select your template file wherever it may be. Okay. So select the architectural template. Next, ensure project is the one selected, then hit OK. Just like that, you've created a new Revit model file. Alright, so whenever you are starting a new project, it is always advisable to establish the project level datum. Okay? These levels provide the framework which would enable you start building your project model file. Now, for you to be able to see the levels in your model file and also place new ones, first of all, you must be in the elevations or section views. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's go ahead and open the east elevation view by double clicking it in the project browser. As you can see, we have two levels already defined for this project. The next thing we have to do is rename these levels to reflect our project naming scheme. Alright, to rename a level, select the level, click its name and then change the name. When you rename the level, Revit asks you whether you would like to rename the corresponding view, which is the floor plans view and the ceiling plans view associated with this level. Automatically change the names of those view on the project browser by clicking yes. So another way you can rename levels in your Revit models is you can right click on the name of the of the level in the project browser, then select the rename option, impute the new name, click anywhere on the drawing area or hit enter. Again, you are asked about renaming the corresponding views and like before, click yes. Okay, now let's change the height of these levels. All right, to change the height or the position of a level, like we did before, select the level. Okay, then click on the associated dimension in the drawing area and then enter a new value. Click anywhere in the drawing area or hit the enter key. Okay, then the level marker will move to the new position. Okay, to add a new level, select the level to from the architecture tab of the ribbon okay when you are using the line drawing tool which you can see on the drawing panel the level will snap into alignment with the existing levels in the project all right the 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 temporal dimension tools are also there to help you place these levels okay and if the levels are placed in the wrong position you can always reposition it by editing the dimensions like we did earlier okay or by selecting the level and dragging it to change the elevations however i strongly recommend against that all right so to, to place the next level we are going to use the peak line tool okay um, that is the other tool in the draw panel all right so when using this tool you can set an offset value with which you can place the level at a specified distance away from the line you picked. In this case, we are going to offset the line by 450. This level only represents a datum for the project and not a building story. So plan view is not needed and the option is unchecked in the options bar. So you go ahead and create the level okay because these two levels are very close to each other click the add elbow control 
on the level head to keep the levels apart for the sake of clarity all right now let's go on and rename the two new levels one is listed in the project browser the other is not so let's go ahead and rename this one in the drawing area while we rename the other one in the project browser okay now that i've created this level you notice something different about the level first of all you notice that others are blue and it is black all right and when you look at the project brother you also see that there are no um, views referring to this level i just created here it is because i unchecked the make plan view in the options bar all right all right by default the project browser arranges levels in numerical or alphabetical order okay in this tutorial you'll notice that i named the levels in numerical order to keep the levels organized in the project browser and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe not only that ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials Okay, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video.